You've owed back taxes for years. You've dealt with the tax liens and the constant threat of wage levies and asset seizures. But you're finally tired of the stress and the drama of running from the IRS. But you're wondering whether the IRS is more open to negotiating right now because of the pandemic. Is it actually a good time to negotiate with the IRS? That's the topic of today's video on the other side of the break. What's up guys, Corey Hankerson here from Legacy Tax, and they call me the Levy King because I've helped thousands of clients with unfiled returns, back taxes, tax liens, and that's right, IRS levies. If the IRS took your check, the Levy King will get it back. 1-877-LEVY-KING, levyking.com. I'm also the author of End the Tax Nightmare, Insider Secrets to Beat the IRS and Reduce Your Tax Debt. Inside the book, I'll show you how to stop IRS levies, liens, and garnishments without paying the tax in full how to set up the payment plan that you want and not the one that they want, and how to potentially settle your tax debt for less than you actually owe. My book has been a top seller on Amazon for years. You can go over to Amazon right now and buy a copy for $19.99, but I want to give you a copy of the book absolutely free. Just jump over to my website, www.endthetaxnightmare.com, and enter your name and email address, and I'll send you a copy of the book right away. No charge, not even for shipping, totally free. Before we go any further with the video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. All right, guys, that's it. Let's dive into today's content. As I do these videos on solving IRS problems, one question has been popping up over and over again for the past year. And it comes to me in several forms. Some people ask, will the IRS accept more offers and compromise applications because of COVID? Other people say, will more of us qualify for an offer because of the pandemic? Some people just ask, how does COVID affect the offer process? The answer seems to be that COVID may affect the OIC process as it relates to offers based on doubt as to collectability and offers based on effective tax administration. I'm gonna discuss both types of offers and explore how the pandemic and the resulting economic fallout will present an opportunity for lots of people to settle their tax debt for less than they actually owe, even if those people didn't necessarily qualify before the pandemic. But first, what is an OIC based on doubt as to collectability? Which, is, which I call a DAC offer. The DAC offer is by far the most popular offer and compromise type. Over the past decade or so, it has been the subject of nonstop radio and TV commercials offering tax settlements for pennies on the dollar. The truth is that the Internal Revenue Service acceptance rates for OICs has actually been, has always been relatively low. Last year, the IRS only accepted about 30% of all offer applications it received. Um, there are two main reasons that an offer based on collectability is not accepted. Number one, the taxpayer is not in compliance. And number two, the taxpayer doesn't qualify. If you want to learn more about OIC basics, check out my other videos, including the offer and compromise formula, as well as the main reasons your OIC got rejected. Links to both videos in the description below. Today, we're talking about uh, qualification and how the pandemic will help many people qualify for offers that didn't qualify before. Now, if your fin financial situation has changed, making it unlikely you'll be able to pay your tax balance before the collection statute expiration date, you may qualify for a DAC offer. You need to demonstrate that you've suffered significant long-term financial harm as opposed to a short-term financial setback. For example, let's say you owe the IRS $35,000 and before COVID you were making $6,000 a month and you had $5,300 in allowable expenses, which leaves you $700 per month that the IRS would expect you to pay towards your tax debt. Let's also assume that you had uh, $20,000 in cash in the bank. If we add those two together, the minimum offer the IRS would accept would be $36,800, which is more than you owe. Therefore, you would not have qualified for a DAC offer. But what if you lost your job or had to close your business due to COVID? How would that affect your offer? 
Now, same situation as before, except this time the taxpayer's income and assets have significantly uh, been reduced. Instead of earning 6,000 a month, they're only collecting 1,400 in unemployment income, and they have liquidated their cash assets to survive during the pandemic. The IRS would likely accept an offer for significantly reduced amount from this taxpayer under these circumstances if they can show that their situation is not temporary and is expected to last a long time. On the other hand, if you are currently employed but will likely get a new job that pays an income that is similar to your old job, then the IRS will evaluate your offer based on your future income, not the reduced income that you currently have. As a result, you have a more difficult time getting an offer accepted. Bottom line, if your situation appears to be temporary, the IRS will likely consider the income that you are likely to earn in the future and not necessarily the income that you earn right now. To drive the point home, let's look at a few examples. The Washington Post says that over 500,000 small businesses have permanently closed because of COVID. According to Forbes magazine, some entire industries may never recover, including movie theaters, department stores, restaurants, and office space landlords. I've spoken to many clients who own restaurants and retail stores, and many of them don't have the funds to either maintain the business that's currently open or reopen a business that is closed down. When a taxpayer is unemployed and is not expected to return to his previous business, the offer will be based on current income, not future income, which makes a successful offer and compromise more likely. If you compare this situation to someone whose business was shut down temporarily but has since reopened, they wouldn't qualify for an offer if they were not already a good candidate before the pandemic. Another example might be a taxpayer who has previously earned a high income, but because of COVID is no longer physically able to do his previous job. We're just starting to learn the potentially serious long-term effects suffered by many who have contracted COVID. The CDC lists fatigue, shortness of breath, diminished cognitive ability, depression, and kidney damage among COVID's long-term effects. It's not difficult to understand how these issues might prevent you from working or paying your tax debt. The IRS says that when a taxpayer is in poor health and their ability to continue working is questionable, those special circumstances are to be considered and the OIC calculations should be adjusted. On the other hand, if you have recovered from COVID and have returned to work, it is unlikely that you would qualify for a, DIC, for a DAC offer if you didn't qualify before the pandemic. As you can see, there is the possibility that the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic can have a positive impact when it comes to the IRS accepting your offer and compromise based on doubt as to collectability if you have suffered permanent or long-term economic injury because of COVID, this may be a good time to consider an offer based on doubt as to collectability. My guess is that this will be a short window in time where the pandemic could be a good reason to settle for less than you actually owe. In part two of this video series, I'm gonna discuss another type of offer and compromise, the offer based on effective tax administration and explain how the pandemic might make this another powerful tool in dealing with IRS debt. Speaking of IRS debt, I want you to know that there are special programs in place to help you get a fresh start. But how do you know if you qualify? You see, no two cases are exactly alike. So how do you know exactly how much you can settle for? Well, I've created a free tool to help you get, a, to help you get qualified for a fresh start. Just head over to levyking.com or click the link below Follow the prompts and answer a few simple questions and we'll help you figure out your eligibility. That website again is www.levyking.com or you can give us a call at one 877 king That's it for this week, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Access to the IRS? Call the Levy King. He's the best. 877 Levy King. LevyKing.com. 1877 Levy King. LevyKing.com.